Do you want to discover how I make money on YouTube without ever making videos? And I'm talking over $6,000 a month without having to create any of my own content. And this is just one of my nine different YouTube channels. My name is Matt Parr. I run nine different YouTube channels and I've grown channels to over a million subscribers without ever showing my face. And I have other multiple channels with over a hundred thousand subscribers. And have you ever watched a YouTube channel in which the person running the channel never got behind a camera or didn't show their face? And the answer to that question is more than likely yes, but I bet you didn't know that some of these channels could be making a lot more money than you probably think. And at this point you might be saying, Matt, I don't believe you. I need an example. Well, here's a channel that's actually doing this that doesn't even show their face or get on camera and they're estimated to be making between $1.6,000 and $24,900 a month and that's literally just from ad revenue alone. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you some secret ways to make a lot more money than just ad revenue, but I would guess they're making on the higher end of these two figures based off of running similar channels. So how exactly is this channel making money? And more importantly, how can you earn money from YouTube without even making videos? First, let me break it down into a three-step process, and then I'll go over exactly what you need to do to make this happen. And step one is to come up with video ideas. Step two is to have a video creation machine generate the videos for you. And finally, step three, is to upload and optimize the finished videos. Now before we come up with any video ideas, we first need a niche or a category of content that we will upload videos in. So what are some good niches? Some good ones are the luxury niche, the tech niche, the animal niche, the psychology niche, the life hack niche, the top 10 niche, and the health niche. So for the purpose of this example, let's say that we chose the luxury niche. And why would we choose this niche over all the different categories of content that we could do on YouTube? Well, one of the reasons is because this niche, the luxury niche or the financial niche, is what I would consider to be a high CPM niche, meaning you'll make a lot more per thousand views from ad revenue as opposed to other niches on YouTube. And also there's a secret way that we're gonna be able to make a lot more money in this niche that I'm gonna be going over later in this video. But first of all, how exactly does YouTube pay you? Do you get paid based on how many subscribers you have or how many views you're getting? Not exactly. So YouTube will pay you based off a variety of factors, but first you must get in something called the YouTube Partner Program, which requires that you get 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers on your channel. And that might seem like a lot, but I have some videos on my channel that'll help you meet these requirements as soon as possible. And in some cases, in under 30 days. So once you're a part of the YouTube Partner Program, YouTube will put ads on your videos and pay you for every single time someone watches an ad on your video. And I'm sure you've seen ads on YouTube videos and every single time you watch an ad on a video, the owner of that channel is making money. And in some cases, it can be a lot more money than you probably think. So now let's get back to how exactly we can earn money from YouTube without even making videos. So we've got our niche, which in this case is the luxury niche, and now it's time to come up with a name for our YouTube channel. And if you want to come up with an awesome name super fast, check out my video that will help you come up with a name for your YouTube channel. But in this case, let's say that we were to name our YouTube channel Luxury Lion. So now it's time to actually make the channel and all you need is one Google account and you can make as many YouTube channels as you want under that single Google account. So now that you've made your YouTube channel, it's time to make it look professional and that includes putting a logo and channel art on your channel. And you can use a completely free image editor like paint.net if you're on Windows or Snappa if you're on either Windows or Mac or you can literally just pay someone $5 on Fiverr to make a professional looking channel art and logo. So now it's time to come up with a list of 33 different video ideas. And why 33? Because I've observed 33 uploads to be the average amount of uploads that I upload on my YouTube channels until one of them starts to get traction. And obviously this can differ a lot between different YouTube channels that I run. Sometimes I have channels take off after only uploading a couple videos, and sometimes I have channels take off after uploading 50 or even more videos. And if you're not doing this correctly, some people will never have their channels take off 
at all. And I want to make sure I'm giving you the best chance possible so that your channel will blow up. And I want to make sure I'm helping you as much as possible to give you the best chances of blowing up. So we need 33 different video ideas, but how exactly do we get these video ideas? Well, I recommend going to big YouTube channels in your niche, which in our case is the luxury niche. So we can go to channels like Mr. Luxury or Alux. And then I recommend taking a look at their most popular uploads to see what's working on their channels. And then I recommend taking notes on what's working on their channels, because if it worked once, there's a very good chance it'll work again. And then along with doing this as well, you can go to YouTube and you can key in your niche in the search bar and then sort the uploads by the most popular uploads uploaded in the last week, the last month, or the last year. And make sure as well that these are evergreen topics to make sure that it's not just a fad that will die out immediately. So once we have our list of 33 different video ideas, now it's time to put together our video creation machine. So the goal with the video creation machine is to put a video idea in one end of the system and to get a finished video out the other end. And the components and people that make up a video creation machine are one, the script writer, two, the voiceover artist, three, the video editor, and finally four, the thumbnail designer. So the only steps that you need to do in this entire process are coming up with video ideas and then uploading and optimizing the finished videos. And that's actually what I do within my YouTube operation. And that's how I'm able to run nine different YouTube channels, eight of which I don't even show my face on. And I only work on those channels about two hours a day. So where can you find people to do each of these jobs? I recommend Upwork.com and Fiverr.com. And another option is to just hire one person to do the entire video creation process for a given YouTube channel. And when you're hiring someone, whether it be a script writer or a voiceover artist or a video editor, whatever job you're hiring for, make sure to hire them as a test at first, just for one video as a test, and then make sure that's good and do a couple more videos as a test until actually hiring them long term and then start paying them on a weekly basis and then eventually start paying them on a monthly basis. And when you start paying them on a monthly basis, you'll be able to negotiate the rates down and pay a lot less per video. So how much should you pay per video? I recommend paying between $25 and $80 per 10 minute video. And like I said, the more work that you can give people, the more you can typically negotiate the cost down. But what if you don't have any upfront money to invest. Well, you can still make money on YouTube without ever getting in front of a camera and without ever showing your face by generating the content yourself. And that's really the true beauty of this business model is that you can generate the videos yourself if you want. And then eventually when you do start making money, you can pay other people to make the videos for you. And that's exactly what I did. And if you're going to be generating the videos yourself, you can literally just record voiceovers using your phone. That's actually what I did when I was starting out. But I was at the point of making over $9,000 a month from my YouTube channels, more than my parents, more than my friends. And today I make over $30,000 a month from YouTube just from ad revenue alone and a lot more from some other sources that we're going to be getting into in this video. So you can either use your phone to do voiceovers or you can pick up a cheap microphone like this. This is the Blue Yeti Nano and you can just get a cheap microphone, plug it into your computer and do it from there. So now what about video editing? How can you edit your videos for free without spending an arm and a leg on a video editor? Well, I recommend a completely free video editing software called OpenShot that you can find at openshot.org and it's free for both Mac and PC. Now, what about doing this on a phone? Can you do this if you're using just a phone? And the answer is yes, you can. And you can do that by using a completely free app called PowerDirector that's free for both iOS and Android devices. Now, what about getting content to use in your YouTube videos? How can you get content and use them in your videos without having to worry about copyright or anything that goes with that? Well, you can use completely free websites like pixabay.com or pexels.com which have completely free videos and pictures that you can use to use within your videos. And if you do have a budget to do this, you can also use a website called storyblocks.com that has even more videos and pictures that you can use. And they do cost money, but in my opinion, it's well worth it. And another option is to use videos directly from YouTube. And if you're gonna be doing this, make sure that you read up and you abide by the terms of fair use that YouTube lays out. And also here's a quick bonus tip for doing this as well. 
to help you not run into any copyright issues. First of all, make sure that you run all of your scripts, whether you wrote them yourself or you paid someone else to write the scripts for you. Make sure that you run all of your scripts through a website called Copyscape. This will make sure that there's no copyright infringement in any of your scripts and you want to make sure that your scripts are completely unique and original. And also when it comes to using music in your videos, I recommend using the YouTube audio library and then sorting the music by no attribution required, meaning you can literally just download the songs and use them in your videos for completely free. And that way you don't have to worry about any copyright issues and you can still make money on YouTube without even making videos or showing your face. Now let's talk about making thumbnails for your YouTube videos. So thumbnails are incredibly important and if you don't know what a thumbnail is, it's the image that appears on YouTube videos before you actually click to watch the video. And it's really important that you make your thumbnails as appealing as possible. And some ways to do that to increase what is called the click-through rate or the percentage of people who click to watch your videos is to incorporate a lot of human emotion whenever possible in your thumbnails and also to include things like red arrows and circles in your thumbnails while still trying to keep it as simple as possible. And another thing you can do is model what's already working on YouTube in terms of thumbnails. That doesn't mean to straight out copy what's working, but instead to look at it and think about how you can do that in your own way by looking at already viral videos in your niche. And as for making thumbnails, here's some completely free softwares you can use. If you're on Windows, you can use paint.net. If you're on Mac, you can use an online software called Snappa. And if you're doing this on your phone, you can use an app called Pixelab. And I have videos on my YouTube channel talking about exactly how you can make YouTube thumbnails directly on your phone. So now that you've got your 33 different YouTube videos done, now what do you do? Do you just upload them all to YouTube at once? No, you want to make sure that you schedule your uploads one video to go up per day. And if you can't keep up with that schedule and you can't produce one video a day, that's no problem at all. Then I recommend uploading three videos a week. And I understand in some circumstances, it's even hard to do that. For example, if you were doing animation videos or something like that, where it takes a long time to make each video, then I would recommend uploading a video once a week. But the more videos you upload, the bigger chance you have of having one take off and go viral. Now, if you were to just upload a bunch of videos to YouTube and they got no views whatsoever, would that just be a waste of time? And the answer is yes, that would be a waste of time, but I wanna make sure you're not wasting your time and that you can get as many views as possible on your channel and potentially start making money from YouTube without even making videos. And the way we do that is by optimizing our videos. And in order to optimize our videos, we're gonna to wanna to make sure we have a good title, description, tags, thumbnail, and subtitles. And if you want to get the best tags and keywords and everything on your videos to make sure your videos are as optimized as possible, I recommend a completely free Chrome extension called vidIQ and I'll leave a link down below where you can get it. So you want to include keywords that vidIQ suggests in your title and description and you want to make sure that they're written in as natural of a way as possible. And also in terms of your title, you want to ask yourself if your title is actually a searchable term. So many people title their videos wrong and you want to make sure to think about it from a viewer's perspective. If I search this term on YouTube, if I search my exact title, would that even make sense? Would a viewer actually be searching this term? And this will help you get search traffic and then also eventually suggested video traffic where your video will appear in the suggested bar of already popular videos. And then the next step to make sure that your channel takes off as much as possible is to analyze and optimize based off the analytics. And the way we do that is by going into our YouTube analytics and taking a look at all the amazing data that YouTube gives us. And the things we're gonna wanna look at are our click-through rate, our audience retention, and our watch time. When it comes to click-through rate, YouTube tells us that the average click-through rate on YouTube for 80% of videos that are on YouTube is between two and 5%. So if we can beat that and we can get at least a 6% click-through rate on our YouTube videos, it's gonna help our videos get a ton of views. So always be shooting for a 6% click-through rate or at least better than your channel average. And then also look at your audience retention graphs on individual videos that you uploaded. I recommend taking a look at some of your most popular uploads and seeing what caused those videos to be your most popular videos. And you can do this by going into your audience retention graphs in your YouTube analytics 
and YouTube will literally show you points in your video in which more people are watching and points in your video in which people are clicking off. And as you watch your video and take a look at these graphs, you want to think to yourself, why are more people watching at this point and why are less people watching at this point? And whatever you're doing at that point, cut that out and never do that again in future videos. And whatever you're doing in the point that causes audience retention to peak, try to do that as much as possible in future videos. And some things that can help with that are doing a lot of fast cuts throughout your video. And when it comes to statistics to actually aim for, I recommend aiming for a 60% average view duration on videos that are around 10 minutes long and also a 6% click through rate. If you can hit both of these statistics, it's very likely that your channel is gonna blow up and you'll go viral on YouTube. So now what about making money? Here's some secrets on how you can make as much money as possible from YouTube doing this method. And the first is to make sure that you're producing videos that are at least eight minutes long. This will allow you to put multiple ad breaks throughout your video and make a lot more money as a result. So how many ads should you put on your YouTube videos if you're producing videos that are longer than eight minutes? I recommend putting an ad about every two minutes throughout the video. So that would be putting an ad at two minutes, four minutes, six minutes, eight minutes, and also at the beginning and end of your YouTube video. And if you wanna take this to the next level, then you can also put ad breaks at what you would assume to be high audience retention points on your video because if more people are watching at those points and then they get an ad, you'll make a lot more money as a result. So now let's talk about a secret that'll allow you to make up to 10 times more than from just ad revenue. And before we talk about that, if you feel like I've given you value in this video so far, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so I can help you make money on YouTube. So part of the reason we chose the luxury niche like we did with Luxury Lion is because not only is it a high CPM niche and we can make money through ad revenue, but we can also make money through promoting affiliate products. I recommend going to places like digistore24.com and clickbank.com to find products that are related to your videos. And in the case of the luxury niche, there's so many different like make money online products that you can promote on Digistore and Clickbank that you can then promote at the link in the description of your YouTube videos, along with in the pinned comment section of your YouTube videos. So let me know down in the comments if you're gonna do this method. And if you are, be careful, don't give out your channel name because people will copy your channels. Also, I have a coaching program and community called Tube Mastery and Monetization, which delves super deep into all of this and shows you exactly how I run nine different YouTube channels and make six figures a year from them. And if you're interested in that, link will be down below. We have an incredible community with tons of results and I'd love for you to join it if you wanna discover more about this. So again, link is down below. Now, if you wanna discover examples of channels that are actually doing this, check out this video right here. It's gonna show you 15 actual examples channels that are doing this and how you can make money with each of these types of channels and exact video ideas in this video right here. I'm going to show you some really weird niches that I bet you never even thought of that you can potentially make a ton of money in. So check out this video right here. You're going to get a ton of value from it. Thanks so much for watching everybody. My name is Matt Parr and I'll see you 